Hello everyone and welcome to another Smart Arts What's in the Box. My name is Jake and today we'll be going over what is in January's Smart Art Box. We got some really cool stuff this month so let's hop down below and see what we got. Alright everyone, like always we'll open up our box to the Smart Art brochure. Open it up and you'll see some history of the materials in this box as well as a total list of stuff you're going to find in here. Flip to the next page and you will get your quick start guide to help you get a starting idea on how to use these products. Flip to the next page and you'll see your skill challenge guide to give yourself a little extra challenge using these materials. And then flip to the back and you'll see some pointers on how to get the best results using these products as well as your weekly challenge prompts. Alright, so the first thing out of this box are actually some extra items this month. To celebrate the start of the new year, these items have been included to thank you for joining us at the start of 2022. These dual tip markers pair perfectly with all the other items included in January's box, and this awesome calendar magnet is going to go perfect on mine and your refrigerator. Alright, so the next thing out of this box is the Ecoline watercolor inks. These intense dye-based watercolors are great for drawing, painting, illustrating, lettering, and more. These inks can be diluted to your liking by just adding a little or a lot of water to adjust the intensity of the color. These inks will be a lot of fun to work with this month. Next we have here the Chinese calligraphy brushes. These traditional Chinese calligraphy brushes are made with a soft weasel hair set into a nice wood handle and lacquered into a beautiful red finish. With the three sizes that come in this set, you will have everything you need to practice a bunch of different techniques using them. I can't wait to actually try out these brushes. Okay, next out of this box, we have the Blossom 7 Well Paint Palette. Made from imitation porcelain, makes this paint palette a very durable and reusable palette. This palette is stain resistant, which is very nice this month with our dye-based inks. This palette will most definitely come in handy this month. And next out of this box, we have the Bamboo Mixed Media Spiral Bound Pads. These are the latest addition to the Hamamules Bamboo products. This natural white paper with its unique surface makes it great to try out different techniques in painting, drawing, mixed media, and more. I'm honestly really excited to start using this paper this month. All right, and then the last thing out of this box is the handmade glass dip pen. You may notice that your box currently does not include this glass dip pen. Unfortunately, due to shipping delays, this item did not make it in time for packing, and we really wanted to ensure that everyone was able to start creating in the new year. So don't worry, though. The item will be included in your February order. Make sure you check out the slip that is in here as well for a little bit more information on it. But that is everything in our box except, of course, our sticker and candy. But let's get everything out of here and see what we can create using the materials in this box. So coming into this piece, I wanted to make a piece that I could utilize all the different tools that came in this box. So I made this building piece where I could use the brush pens to make a basic rough outline of the tower. Then from there, I could bulk out the rest of the painting using two different size calligraphy brushes. And then in the end, I used the glass dip pen to make some random fine line details. These inks were super nice and I loved how well they flowed on this paper. I used to do a lot of my paintings with only watercolor inks, so this was a nice project to get myself into doing that again. But I'm going to be quiet and let you all enjoy this and I will see you all at the end with the final results.
All right, everyone, that is everything in January's Smart Art Box. These materials were a lot of fun to work with, but now it's your turn to see what you can create using the materials in this box. Now, don't forget to check out the weekly challenge prompts at the back of your brochure, as well as the weekly videos where I try to tackle each challenge myself. Complete all four of the weekly challenge prompts and post them to social media using the hashtag Smart Art Break and Smart Art Project to get your 500 Peacock points. Also, make sure you check out these Smart Art Bundles. If you don't know what they are, they are a set of boxes that have very specific mediums in each box. If you want more information on it, make sure to check out the Smart Art webpage. So make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss videos like this one. And if you enjoy my work, make sure to check me out over my personal channel over at Naughty Egg Draw. The link's going to be down in the description. But that is all for today, everyone, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.